One man is dead following an early morning officer involved shooting in Colleen that also left an officer injured. And all of this took place as officers issued a no knock search warrant to a violent drug offender. Yeah, Channel 6's Barry Roy has been on this story all day long. He brings us the latest and the terror for one neighbor who's had enough. Good evening to you, Barry. Yeah, good evening to you both. Imagine waking up to the sound of gunfire that sounds like it's happening just inches from where you're sleeping. For one woman, that became a reality this morning. The early morning in Killeen, pierced by gunshots, neighbors shaken. I heard shots from both directions, and not just one shot, it was like bang, bang, bang. My initial review has determined that our officers, our SWAT team, our detectives, and everybody involved operated in a professional manner. James Scott Reed, the man killed in a shootout with police, was no stranger to law enforcement and his violent history. Well documented and dating back to 1996, led officers to execute a no-knock search warrant, a strategic move given his past. Yes, this is scary because they give everybody a gun and you argue, they look at you the wrong way, you walk the wrong way, they shoot you. The violent history that Mr. Reed had, you know, that's, you know, protection of our officers, protection of the defendant, and protection of citizens is foremost. For one individual, going to be a second person. Reed was not alone in the home at the time of the shooting. An unidentified woman was also present and has been taken to the Killeen City Jail for narcotics-related charges. As for Danielle, she's had enough and wants to just live in peace. And I don't like this, what happened this morning. That was very close. It was too close, you know. But, yeah, we're planning to move. We wanted to move and take our time, but <laughs> I don't know now. Chris and Leslie, we are told tonight the officer injured this morning is expected to be okay. The Texas Rangers are taking over the case, which is standard operating procedure. All right, Barry Roy reporting for us live in studio. Well, Leslie.